This painting, The Druids, uh, was one that two artists worked on, uh, George Henry and E.A. Hornell. Obviously it was quite unusual for two artists to collaborate on a painting and we're not entirely sure which artist painted uh, which bits of the picture. But it's really important art historically, it's one of the most important <laughs> pictures in the exhibition. It shows, by contrast um, from Two Pastures New, which was a realist picture, um, a picture painted by them um, in, a, in a symbolist vein. It shows a procession of druids who have just taken part in a sacred ceremony of bringing, uh, cutting down the mistletoe from the sacred oak and the bulls in the foreground have their horns bedecked with the mistletoe that the, the Celtic priests or druids you know, have cut down. Mistletoe was a very uh, sacred plant to the druids because of its medicinal properties and also as an aphrodisiac. Um, so it had to be cut down at a special, a special time, a summer, at summer, time of the summer solstice, and you can see the, kind of the, the, the waning moon on the horizon. What's really radical about the picture is this tipping up of the perspective. You, you almost feel as if the figures are marching out of the picture towards you. Uh, so this flattening of the picture surface, the use of lots of, kind of rich colour, decorative pattern, indeed the use of gold paint, was quite revolutionary for the time. Uh, this is prior to people associating gold paint with Gustav Klimt and the Vienna Secession, but the Glasgow boys are using it, using it in, in 1890. It's such a radical picture uh, and made such an impact that when it was exhibited at the Grosvenor Art Gallery in London in 1890, the organiser of the Munich Art Exhibitions, Gustav Pau, saw the picture and immediately said, as soon as uh, this exhibition finishes in London, I would like all these, these pictures by these Scotch artists, as he called them, uh, to be shown in Munich. So the Druids indeed were shown at the Glass Palace in Munich in 1890 and more or less took Europe by storm because other European artists never seen uh, such radical style of painting as this. Indeed hadn't really heard of Glasgow or, or you know, thought it was remarkable that such a small place in Scotland could be producing art of this standard. It, 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 blazed, it blazed a trail for subsequent generation of, of Scottish artists like Macintosh or the Scottish colourists who then found it much easier to find acceptance abroad in Europe and who became known in, in their own time for their kind of radical innovation style of painting or in terms of Macintosh architecture.